Jersey may get a state germ. I think it fits for New Jersey. Us to have a state microbe is kind of just saying that germs fit us very well. Sure, some may see this as yet another reason why Jersey sometimes gets a bad rap, but others say it's an honor. Streptomyces grizzius was discovered in the Garden State in the early 1900s and helped create the world's first antibiotic for tuberculosis in 1943. I hope the trend turns out to be contagious. Um, it definitely should spread. We need to infect all the other states in the union. I think microbes should get more recognition because they do a lot for the community. A microbe is a lovely little, uh, well, they, they, you know, they're bacteria. I spoke with Rutgers professor Douglas Evely in the laboratory where the magic microbe was studied. I'll put in the New Jersey plug there in that it came from a New Jersey soil. That's right, Jersey dirt with healing powers. It hit a tuberculosis, which at that time was probably the biggest killer in the world. It's done uncalculable things for humanity. I mean, it's essentially saved millions of lives. Rutgers professor Albert Schatz and Dr. Selman Waxman received a 1952 Nobel Prize for helping to cure the deadliest disease of their time. Kids will learn about state the state bird, the state bug, and now they learn about the state microbe, just another part of like our world and another branch of science to be explored. This science lover says having a germy state has its benefits. At Rutgers, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. Sure, why not? State Assembly unanimously uh, voted in favor of the bacteria bill, and now it is on its way to the Assembly for a vote.